Because when there's a blood hunt, everyone kind of like subconsciously wants more points, so they'll bring like BP stuff. So you'll probably get like a five man bloody party streamer lobby with double BP and. Oh. Um, I don't know if I'm into this chat. Oh. Was that cooldown? I think she has cooldown add ons. I like playing as Huntress. I don't like playing against Huntress. I've slowly shifted my opinion on Huntress because I just play against more and more Huntress players. It's just getting kind of annoying. Oh, and he's killing himself. Alright, very fun game. Wasn't this the same person who was asking about MMR? Oh my lord. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> Alright, well, game's over. Just corrupt and then ruin. Corrupt for the the build slower speed and ruin just for mid game slowdown. But it doesn't even matter. Yeah, that's that's um that's definitely cool on add-ons. It's kind of kind of goaded, bro. Ready? M1. Okay. That was funny. That was kind of funny. Get here, though. Boop, 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 boop. She actually just immediately breaks. I thought she was gonna play that and like kinda zone out or something. Pre dropple, yeah. It's a huntress. can't greed pallets against Huntress. Because if you go through, she's going to hit you anyway. With her hatchet. I'm going to take a hit. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on. Come the fuck on. How'd that work? Oh, my lord. Switch Soul Guard, Circle of Healing. Well, the thing is, whenever I use Soul Guard, I typically don't get slugged. I switched out Desperate Measures for um, Iron Will as well. And I got rid of we're gonna live forever for dead art. So with the new meta, like I like why would I why would I use we're gonna live forever? I, I may as well just use like other perks. It was it was fun while it lasted. Typical meta survivor. Well, yes. I think I went over this before. Whenever there's strong shit, I use it. I will shamelessly use the best shit in the game. Because if it's in the game, they clearly want you to use it.
Why is the Huntress the best range killer? She can hit you from across the map. She can hit you over every loop. She can hit you through windows and through pallets. Like a Death Slinger. He can only hit you through windows and at select pallet loops. He has 18 meter range, like a Trickster. He can hit you from across the map, but he has to hit you 12 fucking times. And he has less slowdown, but he has to hit you 12 times. So. Huntress just needs to hit you twice. Deathslinger might have to hit you more than twice because deep wound and stuff with his chains. And then, then Artist. Artist is Huntress, but kind of better. Because she's 4.6 and she can like place her... It's basically like pre-placed hatchet throws. Like she can place like a like a, a crow bomb like there and then push you into it, make you hit the bomb, and then run up to you and hit you. Or she can place another one in like another part of the loop and then push you there and you take more damage and you go down. Yeah, yeah, that's true. With Huntress, you can only get cross maps on, on maps that allow it and they're open. With Artist, you can get on any map because they go through walls. I think I think it's very foolish to assume that the artist will not get a nerf of some kind. Whether it be on release or or down the road. Because she is objectively one of the strongest killers in the game. Like she's actually cracked. Oh I lost speed there. Maybe I hit like an invisible wall or something. Oh maybe it's my connection, because I use a VPN right now for streaming because behavior. Oh, maybe not. There's no pallet there. God damn it. Oh, there is one here, though. I'll free throw this. I am a very fun survivor. The last super strong killer we had was twins, yeah. No, she waited. Okay. Like, Twins and Blight were really damn good. Pyramid Head was pretty solid, too. Who did we- who did we have before? Pyramid Head? Was that Deathslinger? It was Deathslinger, right? Deathslinger before Pyramid Head? Deathslinger was okay, he wasn't super great. Like, why play Deathslinger over, over Huntress? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. That's awesome. Glad I can somewhat remember things. I'd say Pinhead is... Pinhead's a pretty good killer, but he's not, like, top tier. He's, he's, he's solid. The thing with Pinhead is, is he can be very annoying. Because of how his, his chains work. Like, in chase, he can be pretty annoying. But then also... Like, his 1v4 is pretty strong. I find that if I'm carrying an item, I have no will to pick up the box. I don't want to solve the Rubik's Cube when I play Survivor and I, I have an item. If I don't have an item, I'll happily run over to it, but then I'm running across the map to solve it. I was, I was in animation like in Dead Art Center, that's so sad. Alright, well, GG. I guess so. I don't think Death Center was nerfed that hard. Like, Death Center is still 
pretty damn good. It's just that quick scoping is now not a thing. You kind of have to wait. Which is, it's overall more healthy. But it's like... I don't know. I feel like Death Singer needs more range at the moment. Because it, it's kind of... 